Is this the stage you would like to go Welcome to? Welcome back to Let's Play Sonic Adventure 2, and guess what? We're going where no hedgehog has ever gone before. Well, he's gone there several times after this, but we're going to space! Oh, God, no! <laughs> That's right. <laughs> These are all the stages we have left. Oh, okay. And we're going to go ahead and start with Lost Colony, just because, well, I said so. Okay, fine. We'll have it your way. Now, the unfortunate thing is that this is an Eggman stage, but he has to stay inside the mech for this because of reasons like that. Crud. You can't really do much out of the mech. We'd be trapped. But don't worry, Eggman still has one more stage that's way more open, and I'm sure we'll uh, have a lot more fun with the mech. So, so the mechless Eggman is... is uh, he'll come back, don't worry. It's not dead. It's not dead, no, no, no. Mechless Eggman can't <laughs> die. That's what made his last level so interesting. But this is not a very interesting level because it's... Well, we're trapped. We can't... Uh... Yeah, it's really dark. Was was it always this dark? Yeah, well, yeah, this is bef this is the Eggman coming to the Ark for the first time, remember? Oh, and I, okay. And I do believe you said something similar about it being dark. <laughs> I think I'll play it right now. Shit. Well, this is the Lost Colony. This is, like, Eggman has been the first human here in, like, 50 years. No, that, that doesn't mean he has to lose his way. A Lost Colony means it hasn't been seen in a long time. It's been lost to the world. Not you actually been. getting lost. All right. Oh, so. I'm repeating myself. Oh, well, it, that was a while back, though, so. Okay, yeah. yeah. How many episodes are we in? It's... I'm wanting to think, if you play your cards right, you could have had one episode per week for an entire year of Sonic. Hmm. You're not that far off, actually. I think if I split the Chow races into two episodes, I will indeed have 57 episodes of Sonic Adventure 2. <laughs> wow. That was a good, healthy series, i got to admit. Having a lot of fun with it. I'm glad people are enjoying it. Are you? Are you enjoying it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, there, are, like, do, like there are some points. Do you think that? Uh, do you think that you could go out and get Sonic Adventure 2 for yourself if it was on sale or whatever? <laughs> oh hell no! I'm terrible at games S like this. Sans action replay, of course. Uh, Sans action replay. Nah, I, I still don't think I'd like it. I don't know. There's just something about the the newer Sonics that feels right. And having tried uh, Sonic Adventure myself, it's uh, a it, I just couldn't get it. I, I mean, I'll, I'll openly admit, I did not understand Sonic Adventure and how it played, and I didn't like it that much. It was cryptic at some point. Oh, wh what? What? What, did that... <laughs> wow, that is a strict, a very strict kill plane. Jeez. Damn. <laughs> well, shit. Luckily, we were just right there, but oh... God, this is the worst part of the level. Uh, it's so slow. Uh, what would you put to make this level a bit more palatable? Okay, you see that those like rings on, like like in the back, those blue rings. Yeah, yeah. What if it was just one connected track? Mm -hmm. And Eggman got on this auto thing, and it just sped up the tower like this. So you could still walk on the enemies, and nothing would really change. You'd just be going up faster, and it'd be a lot more dynamic and intense. That would be pretty cool, but you know what I was thinking as you were explaining yours? Like, I like your idea on staying on a rail and then just speeding up and destroying everything. But I was thinking... Yeah, it, doesn't, it doesn't change the room too much, but it, uh, it just makes it more fun. Right, and I was just thinking, you remember that one boss from Twilight Princess where you had to use the spinner, the only time you legitimately had to use the spinner to beat the boss? You know, I'm glad we kind of had the same thought. Yeah, just use that and go around in the in the circular tower. That'd be so cool. I like my idea better, because it's my channel. <sighs> Alright, you, you get first dibs, I guess, on good ideas. <laughs> Oh, you missed it. Or on your channel, you can have all the good ideas, okay? Isn't it always, like, almost the diametric opposite of, of what we have? Like, we always throw ideas around, but it turns out our worst ideas are on our own channels. But I did like your idea. Good job. Oh, I accidentally grabbed the chow key, apparently. Oh, shoot. 
Well, so I guess I uh, so I guess we're gonna see a little bit a little bit of Mechless Eggman. So hey, here's that. Oh wait, Mechless Eggman. Oh yeah, right, right. I said Mechless Eggman. Mechless Egg. Anyway, anyway. Power up. What? Oh yeah, I I added a new code. What? I figured this would help me out in getting the hundred rings. <laughs> what? what is that? So now if I press a combination of buttons, I can give myself invincibility whenever I want. Oh, Let's hit the whiskey a little bit. <laughs> Dude, that's awesome. Because in doing so, we have developed a new way to abuse the chow. <laughs> How so? Well, I shall demonstrate here momentarily. <laughs> After I Izuna drop this motherfucker. <laughs> You know, I actually heard Eggman. I thought he said, Boom Shakalaka! <laughs> oh. Aw, oh, no. <laughs> so, what happens if you are invincible? You hit the chow out, like outside the barrier? D does the universe just implode or something like that? The barrier is pretty strong, and I'm pretty sure the chow will just respawn back into a safe spot if that was the case. <laughs> Oops. Oh. Wrong one. <laughs> no, you're just hitting innocent chows now! Eggman's had too much whiskey! I don't remember that show. There he is. Oh, it's over. Let's start it up! Oh, alright. <laughs> Just an infinite supply of invincibility. That's amazing. Again, I think this will help me a lot in the uh, getting a hundred rings. <laughs> this poor chow. <laughs> alright, that's enough of that. I shouldn't be laughing because it's a horrible thing, but I, I don't feel sorry for it. <laughs> the way they bounce around is so funny. And they make a little boop sound. It's funny. <laughs> is this the stage you would like to go to? It's like throwing around a sentient kickball. <laughs> go long! <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Cool. Here we go. Cool. Hundred rings. Alright. Get a Hondo. Straight up Hondo. Get a Benjamin for Eggman. He's been hitting the whiskey hard. Now we gotta see what yeah. he can do. I got my invincibility up, and I'm ready to take on the world. Can you imagine a drunk Eggman? Like, if he really did get plastered on whiskey, and then all of a sudden he goes up to Sonic's house, and he's just like, I'm sorry, man. I didn't mean everything that I said and did. You're a good guy, what? actually. What the hell hit you? I... I don't know. That's that's the thing. You drink and use a mech, and you'll just end up hurting yourself and losing your money exactly. somehow. Exactly. See, see, you're teaching the people at home that hitting the whiskey every now and again can actually be a bad thing. Well, actually, uh, using a combination of buttons to give myself a temporary uh, attack power, like a, a temporary invincibility, mind. And uh, it only comes every so often, and I have to keep doing it. Uh, this is a uh, speed for Eggman. Whoa. Like, like he's on speed? So not only are we hitting whiskey, we're also doing a round of H. Uh, Eggman, what have you done to yourself? Is it like the constant years of failure? Or, or what's bringing this on, man? Can we actually talk about this? Let's not, because the joke's getting old now. Oh, well, okay. Oh, fuck! <laughs> you know what else is getting old? So... What happened? I don't think anything hit me. Maybe it's just karma hitting you in the face. It's like after your invincibility yep. runs out, it just hits you for no good reason. Wouldn't it be crazy if that was what's happening? <coughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Did I really hit the nail on the head? Uh, <laughs> it is! <laughs> no way! Your code is backfiring on you! Oh my god, that's perfect! You found the mm. first... You found the first code that actually fights back! I don't know if it's that the code is fighting back, but... Or more it just doesn't work? <laughs> I don't know why I'm getting hit, though! Is it like registering a hit, and then it saves until I'm, after I'm done being invincible before it actually registers it? That's a. I don't get it. It's a possibility oh, because I, I don't know. I guess ah. it still considers the flag trip that you got invincibility, but it hasn't triggered the flag that you actually, you know, hit a box and picked one up. Maybe that's it. 
Maybe it's all Is about flags. Fl I don't know if that's a flag that needs to be hit because I've gone through fine without being, you know, hit through the invincibility cycles before. It's only just randomly it happens. But it always happens after you're done. See, that's... Uh... Well, well, of course, because I'm invincible when I'm invincible. Well, n I mean, precisely the moment after it's all done is just like, bam, you're, you're getting hit. Did you think I'd be invincible while I'm invincible, but the fact that the fact that I'm not actually invincible after I'm invincible, I'm not actually invincible. But then, what's the point of invincibility if I'm not actually invincible to use the invincibility the way I want to use invincibility? To completely confuse your audience, but it's okay, man. I understood that. Every word. My logic is invincible. <laughs> Just start singing Sia's Titanium. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but I'm invincible! <laughs> you could be like Boris and Goldeneye. Ha! I am invincible! That was two references I did not get. Damn it! Ugh! Now I'm gonna have to think of something else. Uh, invincibility. Uh, not getting hurt. Uh, a stream of logic. Who who does it? Wow. Uh, you, you know what? The pit's probably the the best thing. By the way, why is debug mode up? Eh, I sometimes throw it on there just to see if anything fun will happen. It's definitely hitting some numbers every time you do anything, really. Yeah, I don't know what the numbers mean. I don't know if they add up to anything. Is it just me, or does debug mode seem like a big waste of time? It, it does when not used, and... Wait, are you getting your invincibility from debug mode? No. Oh. I'm getting my invincibility from a separate code. Okay, okay. <laughs> Maybe that's what's getting you hurt. Hmm. I had just not thought of that. Maybe uh, debug mode is fucking with my invincibility code. Uh, maybe. But I think I, I think we all can agree that debug mode is just not working. Yeah, it's it's there for show. It's it's showing people that you in do indeed have a debug code, and that's it. Yes, but it, it's not the kind of fun debug mode that you can do in, say, Sonic Adventure One or Two, for instance. Actually, that'd be kind of interesting to see Sonic Adventure One debugged. I guess. Yep. I want to see Sonic turn into, like, you know, a ring box and then zip all the way to the ending. Yeah. I think we're having enough of that right now, aren't we? <laughs> what, zipping around too much or turning into an item box? Because either way, I'm having a good time. We're making our own debug mode. <laughs> I'm going to make my own debug codes. It's going to be awesome. Eggman's going to turn into a flicky or whatever those are called. Actually, I think we're kind of adding bugs at this point. <laughs> Can you imagine adding a debug mode to a game that... Ah. Hey, good job. Uh, add, <laughs> adding codes to a game that's not that good, and your debug mode actually fixes the bugs in that game? Why do you think people make patches on Steam? Well, I know they're using... They're making patches to fix it, but I'm mainly talking about a game that is originally broken, and through the use of just typing in random codes, you actually fix it. That'd be unheard of. Accidentally fixing it. Although, when we were playing as Amy, I had a code that fixed one of the codes. Hmm. <laughs> Thinking maybe... Oh, I thought there was an exit down there or something. Nope, oh, just well. death. Well, if you mean exiting life, then yeah, you're gone. Yeah, apparently when you play as... Oh, oh, oh there we oh, go. Well, <laughs> oh. <laughs> Wait. the hell's oh, all that's that? that's easy. Is that... Is that the only way this place is being lit? I think so. It's just like glowing magma rocks. In the space colony. Are we in space or in a volcano? It's a space volcano. We're on Mars or Saturn. Anyway, you take this lift up and you get over here and here's a mystic melody altar. How on earth did you find that when you were going through the entire world? When you go through the level enough times and you study where the chow actually is, you know what you're looking for. Okay, okay. <laughs> so I assume you've done this a few times. I mean, dumb luck! Just dumb oh, luck! Oh, well, of course, yes. <laughs> there he is. Okay, good. <laughs> chow accidentally goes underneath your mech foot. <laughs> uh, I keep jumping around like that, that's what's gonna happen. Oof.
Sorry, Chow. I won't do it again, I promise. Except for the next one. Come here, little Chows. See the underside of my foot. Alright, time to for the time attack. Oh, uh, this means. Attacking time. We could just fly through this, right? I hope. Hmm. Up we go. And test the theory. Oh, yeah, we're through. <laughs> Gotta that's go really fast. One of the only places. Yeah, that's one of the only places where you can really escape without going into the level. Like, you know, if you go through that door, you're kind of stuck there for a good while. Oh, you know what I just noticed? on Your debug mode is actually at zero because it can't find you. <laughs> it doesn't know where you are right now. <laughs> like, every time I'm you... F I'm, yeah, I'm way too far out of bounds, I think. Yeah, because when you went back into some place that had yeah, a little bit of level... Yeah, it's back. Here we go. It knows uh, where uh, you are. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh, that counted! You hear the no, but then yes, <sighs> you're dead. Can we just mute him so we don't have to hear it? I mean, does that work? Oh, there we go. It found you. Maybe. It's just so cool just seeing a flyby of all these stages. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, well, oh fuck. Okay, you're back. Oh. You were oh, saying. All right. <laughs> uh, I was just thinking of, thinking of something like... Eggman, when he's bored, takes some of his robots in the mech. He goes flying around the outer bounds of the world. And he goes, I can show you the world. Shining, shimmering, splendid. Are you saying that he serenades his robots on a magic mech ride? Well, what else does he have to do? I would assume anything but that. Well, I mean, he's got to be lonely. Right. I mean, what else does he have to do? What else does he have besides his robots and hating Sonic? He has an IQ of 300, believe it or not. That's what they say. I'm pretty sure it's like about 260, but still, he's he's a smart cookie if he can make all these robotics and mechanics and all that shit. Okay. Why the fuck would he need a woman for? All right, good point. Yeah, he could probably make himself one anyway. If he wanted a woman, he would have made a woman robot or something. Very good point. And believe it or not, the lift is actually faster than going this way. Oh, really? Yeah. Well... I'm just waiting for the invincibility to run off so it hits you once and then you die. Ah-ha-ha! Ah! -ha. Aww. My theory's destroyed! Ah. Uh. How good's the collision detection on those walls? Can you go through them yet? Uh, I, I don't know. Oh, we're there anyway. Uh, okay, good. That is a long tower. Like, unnecessarily long. That's yeah, a bit of a roadblock there. It's, uh, it's not the most fun. Wait, where are you going? Yeah, I'm just heading back here to hit the... Switch for the missile. Ow! Oh. What? What, the, what keeps happening? It still hates you. The missile still hates you. <laughs> oh, please pick it up. <laughs> Did you get it? I got it. Okay. Uh, I should hope with a score like that. Hey, there we go. I am the best. God, I hate this. It's so boring. <laughs> can't use any of the fun codes that I've accumulated because this is still like a really early level so it's got to say okay here's how the shooting works like I know this is like his third level I get it already come on it's dark it's boring it's uninteresting it's closed it's ugh. it's extremely lost but guess what spike balls all over the place now you have something to avoid spike balls and missing platforms that's it well, I guess by this point, there's not much else you could do. It's... it's hard, all right. Now, when does he find the three emeralds? Oh, wait, no. We've <laughs> just been doing so many of those, I just assumed everybody did them now. He has his henchmen do it for him. <laughs> Actually... <laughs> oh, 
fucking get this nonsense. <laughs> I just thought of something. Wouldn't that, that 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 would be an interesting way to do hard mode? Is to give Eggman an emerald stage. I think that changed too much. I mean, come on. I think hard they can do just, it. It's just supposed to be the game, but harder. If you gave him an emerald stage, that would completely revamp how an Eggman stage is actually done. It would completely wreck players. It'd be like if you give Knuckles a shooting stage, and then you give him a door with dynamite packs you have to blow up. It's like, well, what then, jackass? <laughs> Push the button, launch the rocket. What, you can't do that? No. <laughs> Stupid echidna. Do you think Knuckles was made fun of in school? Just a random thought I had. Like, when these when these youngsters were younger, did they get made fun of in school? I know Tails was, because he's a loser, but... Anybody else? Hmm. I don't think so. Well, how about Eggman? Like, what if his deep-seated hatred of Sonic comes from a... a, uh preschool, maybe middle school experience where somebody with blue hair made fun of him and now, like, everybody that's blue, he gets mad at, maybe? I think you're thinking too deep into this, bro. I want, oh, Jesus. I want to know the deep-seated Sonic lore that everybody seems to find so fascinating. I'm gonna make it interesting, darn it. Deep-seated Sonic. There, you, you have to admit, there is now something that you could call Sonic lore out there. And people well, go he, nuts he's, over it. He's had enough games, enough. So, I, I guess. I just hope there's never a third sequel to the storybook series. I don't know, man. My mind's just fucking numb right now. <laughs> I, I just know that that almost trilogy of games can go right God! and fuck himself. Damn. God! Come on, dude! Ah. This is where I start getting frustrated, can you tell? <laughs> Just a little bit. <laughs> I, can, I, I, can, I can tell what you're thinking based on your gameplay, and it is hysterical. <laughs> your mood, everything. You don't even need commentary for this. Nope. <laughs> This is where I start throwing the controller and start kicking my cat. <laughs> Wait, did you die? I don't. I. I. I, oh, I don't no. kick my cats. Uh, he's. He's. A, he's adorable. He, I would never kick. My cats. He's kidding. And, it, and if anything, his. Uh, his cat would attack him first. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah your cat's more of a uh, uh, attack first, ask questions later kind of cat. Loves to play. Oh. Yeah, he does. It's a big cat. Very, very big cat too. Okay, not that big, but. Sizable. <laughs> He's got some really sharp claws, man. He hasn't had claws in like two years. Oh. And he bites a lot, man. Yeah, you're getting this bites is what you're getting. But they're love bites, I can tell. They are, because he loves to play. Oh my god, you're almost there. Oh my god. <laughs> it's right there. Oh, oh, oh. Ah! oh my god, boxes! Oh, Just Eggman's that man's one true enemy boxes! At first time, when you play this game in 2001, you open the door and you see just a whole thing of cages in your way. It's like, oh, it's a funny trick, guys. <laughs> Laughing so hard. <laughs> hey, you Whoa. did it! Sheesh. B. I don't know why I am the best. Why are you the best? You got the best levels, that's for sure. But there is a silver lining. Eggman's done with his space stage, and now we got all these other chuckle fucks to have their space stage. Oh, he's, he's got another space stage, Shit! unfortunately. Yeah, uh-huh. No! Uh -huh. Darn it. All right. Let's finish up a little bit of chow world business, and we'll get the hell out of here. All right. Is this, uh, is shithy, right? Oh. Yep. The codes popped in. Thought something wrong was about to happen. Strange that the debug codes are shrunk like that. 
I decided not to take Dangria school anymore, because with what we gotta do with Dejime and Shifty, I can't afford to take care of more than these guys. So, they need to learn a lot of school stuff too, so I'm gonna have them learn their school and then, yeah. Are you talking about like, with like actual rings? Because you're fucking with me if you say you can't afford it. Time wise. Time wise. Gotcha. I, mean, I, can, I can buy this whole damn <laughs> kindergarten if I wanted. That's why I'm saying you're fucking with me. If you're saying you're poor, like cash poor. I can buy the races if I want. <laughs> So as our Lord Egg ascends, we'll see you next time on Let's Play Sonic Adventure 2. See ya.